July 26. St. Anne St. Anne was the spouse of St. Joachim, and was chosen by God to be the mother of Mary, his own blessed mother on earth. They were both of the royal house of David, and their lives were wholly occupied in prayer and good works. One thing only was wanting to their union. They were childless, and this was held as a bitter misfortune among the Jews. Because of this childlessness, a public reproach to Joachim was made. He then went to the desert for forty days to fast and to pray to God. At the same time, Time, Anne mourned in two mournings and lamented in two lamentations. And as she sat praying beneath a laurel bush, an angel appeared and said to her, Anne, the Lord hath heard thy prayer, and thou shalt conceive and bring forth, and thy seed shall be spoken of in all the world. And Anne replied, As the Lord my God liveth, if I beget either male or female, I will bring it as a gift to the Lord my God, and it shall minister to him in holy things all the days of his life. Likewise, an angel appeared to her husband, telling of the coming miracle. Then at length, when Anne was an aged woman, Mary was born, the fruit rather of grace than of nature, and the child more of God than of man. With the birth of Mary, the aged Anne began a new life. She watched every moment with reverent tenderness and felt herself hourly sanctified by the presence of her immaculate child. But she had vowed her daughter to God. To God, Mary had consecrated herself again, and to him Anne gave her back. Mary was three years old when Anne and Joachim led her up to the temple steps, saw her pass by herself into the inner sanctuary, and then saw her no more. Thus was Anne left childless in her lone old age, and deprived of her purest earthly joy just when she needed it the most. She humbly adored the divine will, and began again to watch and pray, till God called her to unending rest with the father and the spouse of Mary in the home of Mary's child. There are two notes of highlights around the life of Anne, one from Professor Plino, the other from Father Alvin Butler. Professor Plino notes that, in the life of St. Anne, this point touches us and is a model for us, that she had to wait a long time for the fruit of her prayers to be answered. We must realize that the expectations of our vocation put by our lady in our souls may not be met for a long time at times we may even have the impression that they will never be realized the longer the delay the more splendidly the promise will be fulfilled let us ask saint anne to help us accept and understand this and to give us the needed strength to persevere on our road secondly father alvin butler notes that saint anne is glorious among the saints not only as the mother of mary but because she gave mary to god we can learn from her to reverence a divine vocation as the highest privilege and to sacrifice every natural tie however holy at the call of god